Yo, this is your girl Danny, aka A Drive, and this is your boy Dan, aka A Drive, and we are bringing you the Love Lock. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, guys? Of course, we got myself, Dan, A Drive. You know that. This is my beautiful fiance, Danny, aka A Drive. I'm just, I'm recapping. I'm recapping. <laughs> and this is the first ever Love Lock. Now, by the time you guys see this, we'll already be married, so we'll be Mr. and Mrs. A Drive. But until then, we will be unmarried and just fiancéd while you guys, you know, while we're recording this, because we're going to be away on our honeymoon, and that's actually when this series is going to be released, while we're on our honeymoon. So I have a lot to talk about in this video. We're going to be talking about all the rules, what a love lock is, how we're going to make it through this playthrough, which is going to be a miracle if we do, and uh, hopefully address all your questions and all that good stuff in the comments section. But you know what I'm saying? I think we'll be good to go. So you ready, honey? We can hit start. We're going to press start. And we are gonna get started. My start button, oh. It does work, it works, I promise. I'm, I'm using a <laughs> new, so what is this, the 3DS? This is a 3DS, yes. I usually use the XL. Yeah, she usually uses an XL, but I have to have her use a regular 3DS, so sorry about that. But anyway, <laughs> you guys, uh, well, we could skip some of the dialogue at the beginning, um, but you guys may not really be up to date on what a love lock is, so I'm gonna cover some of the rules really quickly, and hopefully there shouldn't be any questions for that. First things first, standard Nuzlocke rules apply, right? Gonna catch the first Pokemon in every route that we encounter if we so choose to do so. If a Pokemon ever faints, then we uh, actually consider it to be retired on this playthrough. No Pokemon are gonna be dead, they're gonna just be retired. And, uh, you know, you gotta nickname your Pokemon. And, and that's probably one of the best parts about having Danny here is that her nicknames are just absolutely wonderful. <laughs> so, there you go. Now, in terms of a schedule, this Let's Play will be uploaded on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to start. Not sure what's gonna happen when we get back from the honeymoon, but that's gonna be the initial plan. Hopefully we can stick to that schedule. And uh, hopefully you guys will show your love on that like button down below and subscribe if you are new. Now in terms of the other love lock rules, similar to, it's kind of a mix between a wedlock and a soul link let's play. So Danny's only gonna be catching female Pokemon. I'm only gonna be catching male Pokemon. And for each of those two Pokemon that we catch on each route or our starter Pokemon, they will be linked together. So for example, let's say Danny decides to start with Trico and I decided to start with, I don't know, let's say Mudkip. If one of them faints, then the other one has to get boxed as well. So some pretty tough decisions there. Uh, you want your stylus? Yes. I think it's in the back actually. I think the stylus is right there. All right, sorry, oh, had so to get the stylus there. Look how little it is, it's so cute, <laughs> it's so much smaller than the other one. Um, so th that's the general idea, she'll be catching female Pokemon, I'll be catching male Pokemon, and they'll be linked together if the, any any one of the two faints, then that's uh, that's gonna cause some problems, because we'll have to kind of release them, or put oh, them in the retired right, box. Can you name yourself Dan instead of A-Drive? Sure, I can name myself yeah. Dan. Okay, so I will be Dan, and you're gonna be Danny. Yes. And I think we're gonna be good. Um, so those are pretty much the, the basic rules. Uh, this is not a randomizer, this is a standard playthrough of the game. Danny is very, very new to Pokemon now. She has played through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire before. When it first came out. And she Long wanted to do it again. Long time ago. So here we are. And uh, there's a few other little rules, guys. Uh, you know, there's a shiny clause. If a shiny Pokemon ever pops up, the rest of the rules get thrown out and you get to catch it. And then we have a duplicates clause. So I can catch the same Pokemon Danny has, but Neither of us can get the same Pokemon if we've already got it. So if I find a Zigzagoon, I catch it. Later in the game, we find another Zigzagoon or a Lanoon. Can't get it. Just skip to the next one. So I can't get it either. No, you can. I can. Yes, okay. you can. So as long as long as uh, we can have the same Pokemon like in our own separate games, but you just wouldn't want to have the same one, you know, twice in the game because you want to have diversity. Because a lot of times you'll run into the same Pokemon over and over again. So. I think I cover the gist of the rules. It shouldn't be too complicated. This is meant to be a fun playthrough. It's not meant to be competitive at all. And uh, hopefully you guys will definitely enjoy it. I'm really excited for it. So you might want to change your text speed to fast. And I'm actually going to keep my battle style on Switch just for the purposes of the I'm difficulty of this. I'm looking at the sky right now. I don't even know how you got there. Well, uh, it's because I... We're both in heaven. We're both in heaven already, so that's a good start <laughs> for the Let's Play. Uh, one thing too, guys, is I did a Twitter question and answer prior to filming this, and I got uh, some questions from Twitter, and you guys are welcome to leave your questions in the comment section below as well if you want them answered on a future video. But our first question is coming from Forster Brian Prince Sadow on Twitter, saying, how did you guys meet, and are there plans for any kids in the future other than Lily Pups? So that's gonna be our question of the day, and we'll be addressing that throughout the video once we kind of get in into the swing of things here. So, what do you think about your new house? The fact that your parents put you in the back of a truck. 
Did you notice well, that? Well, she was already home, wasn't she? Yeah, but you got She's out like, of the back ah, of the moving you're van. Here. Was it fun riding in the back of the truck? <laughs> what <laughs> kind of parents do that? We would, ne- we would never do that to our puppy. Oh, oh, wait. I guess we do kind of put her in the back of the car sometimes. <laughs> but not with moving vans. Not in, not in the back of a truck. I guess not. So I got to ask, like, you know, we saw you, you kind of signed up to do this. This is your first ever Let's Play on YouTube. Are you excited? You ready to jump, make the yes! plunge? Yes! Yes! I'm so excited! <laughs> you ready to make the plunge into the world of uh, Pokemon YouTubing? Yeah, that's me, the next PokeTuber, Ajive. There it is. So you guys heard it first. This is the beginning <laughs> of something very, very special, guys. And <laughs> we're really excited to, uh, to bring that to you. So let's start. Why don't you tell the lovely people out there how we met, since you know, you know how we met. Why don't you tell your side of the story, and then if there's anything I disagree with, I'll tell my side. (laughs) So, I started working at the same place that I'm still working now, um, and I came in on my first day, and I was brought to my cubicle, because our office has um, a very... Do I have to go upstairs right now? Yeah, you do. Okay. Our office was like an open floor plan, and and everyone had kind of little cubicle buddies that were in like... These, these like L shapes. So everyone had this one cubicle buddy they were next to. So I come in and I'm brought to my desk. Talk to the clock on the wall. Thank you. Um, I come in and I am brought to my desk and my new cubicle buddy was so good looking. (laughs) I immediately started texting Sarah who, um, if, if you guys don't know me, is my maid of honor and best friend telling her about how cute my cubicle mate was. Oh, thanks. And, uh... That's me, guys. So then Dan turned around all sly and sitting back, sitting... No, actually, you were sitting forward. He's sitting forward in his chair with his hands crossed on his knees. He's like, hey, I'm Dan. <laughs> like, just chill. And, and apparently, he felt similarly about me. So he... Was I supposed to do something? Uh, no. So you'll have to go downstairs, and then you'll have to go to your neighbor's house. That's all. I'm a little Was ahead I of you. Was I supposed to set the clock or something? It did it automatically. Oh, that's good. Um, yeah, so then apparently Dan felt the same about me. And uh, during his lunch break, he assumes that the new girl moving in who was, who was going to be very smart, judging by her job, wasn't going to be as pretty as he thinks that I am. So then he went and got a haircut at lunch <laughs> <laughs> to try to... Uh, you know, make, make himself feel prettier, I guess. <laughs> um, and, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess he was over sitting next to me, like, stalking my Facebook or something like that. Um, mm-hmm. I'm not really reading this, so, since I'm telling the story, so... That's okay, um, just keep going. You're fine. it's nothing important over You just gotta here. go upstairs. I have to go upstairs again? Oh, wait, no. Go. You gotta go to your neighbor's house and then go upstairs. Well, Mom was dragging me to the TV or something. I don't know. She wanted to see... Your dad is a gym leader, so... Oh, yours is oh, backwards. Good That's job. actually funny. So yeah, you go into that house and then upstairs. So yeah, your dad's a gym leader. So your dad was on TV and she was talking about how she never gets to spend time with her husband anymore because he's always at the gym, basically, getting on his getting his. Fitness. He's always at the gym. <laughs> he's getting his fitness on, you know. So. So yeah. Anyway, so then we uh, first we were talking through Facebook message and then we managed to trade numbers and then we were texting and eventually we hung out. We did hang out, and we started dating pretty much immediately thereafter. So I think that you pretty much covered it. Uh, I did not expect for Danny to be as beautiful as she was when she sat next to me. Uh, not to sound stereotypical, but the position that she was filling was kind of a pretty nerdy position. So I didn't expect, and, and no offense to her My team. My team is full of like men with beards. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like men with beards. There That's wasn't it. A high very, very, very smart people <laughs> with beards. That's, Not this beard, like beard. They're I'm talking <laughs> beards. Uh, so I, I didn't have much of an expectation. But then she sat next to me, and I was just. Uh, awestruck at her beauty and just like uh, this guy is right yes, now that's, I know. that's what dan was like he's like oh my god explanation point <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that was pretty much and i did actually go on my lunch break to go get my hair cut that's a true story and uh i did indeed pull up her facebook on my phone without her seeing she probably had a meeting or whatever and i was like kind of scoping out the situation and uh, i didn't add her on facebook right away I think I did it that night. I think I waited till I got home to, to add you on yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> uh, that just seemed like a better decision. Um, so there's someone screaming up ahead. So I got, I'll wait for you to catch up so we can go find out who's screaming up ahead. But uh, yeah, so that was that was pretty much how things went down in terms of uh, how we first met. And uh, it was so good that we had an opportunity to meet at our last job. And 
and uh, you know, here we are, about to get married. Um, so one thing that we do have to do here regarding the gameplay is because we are doing the male and female thing, Danny is going to need to basically soft reset for her starter. If you don't know, the chance of getting a female starter are 1 in 8. So we may have to do a little pause skis here, but you can hold off on doing that. We'll, oh. we'll, we'll wait a minute here. I, I'm Lally. pretty sure. Okay, you save now. That's fine. Okay, so let's go up here, and I'm pretty sure you can save, and I'll have to save too just in case I get a female starter. This should be one of the only instances where we have to do a soft reset for the Pokemon, but simply just because of the gender rules, that's kind of what we're going to have to do. So uh, we see the professor here. He's saying, help me out. I'm being chased by a Poochiana. He's probably the worst professor ever, and I'm going to save right now. This is where I save. So you can save right in front of the bag. So I know you were a little, d you were debating on your starter here. Now you played through the game with Trico last time. So I think you're going to probably try to mix it up this time. What are you, yep. what are you thinking? I am going to choose Mudkip. You were going to pick Mudkip. Okay. So Danny's going to go Mudkip. I'm actually going to go Trico. And I need to come up with a nickname for this Trico. I don't know if you have any ideas to help me with, aside from Trikaboo. <laughs> All right, Mudkip, be a girl. That would be phenomenal if, if Mudkip was a girl. But we might have to do some some quick soft resets. Let's see if mine is a is a male. So mine is a male, so mine's good. We'll see what Danny's is going to be. And it is a female. How Yay! about that? Look at that, first try. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> that, that's as good as it gets right there. All right, so first try, we're actually able to get so the right genders. So do I have to fight it, or can I just... No, oh, wait, you no, do have to fight the ball, it. Yeah, right? well, you, gotta, want... you, have to save, uh, you have to save the professor, so you definitely have to fight it. You definitely have to I don't it. catch it. No, no, no. You don't have Pokeballs yet. So uh, that's another thing, too, during this Let's Play, guys, just to kind of keep you guys posted. Again, Danny knows some of the basics of Pokemon. She's played through the Delta episode in this game, but that was a long time ago, over a year ago. So I'm sure you're a little rusty on that. Oh, wait, but extends! Is it really? I didn't even yes! know that. Yes! That's actually what? really cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> the stylus extends, guys. I had no idea. Um, but... <laughs> But there are going to be some instances where Danny does not know the type chart, and I will be assisting in that matter to hopefully keep us alive in this playthrough. Okay, so feel free to water gun this uh, Poochiana here into oblivion, and uh, we'll keep it rolling. So I guess we can kind of move to our next topic of the day, since we, we discussed the first one, and uh, we really want to keep these question of the days kind of relevant to the love lock and us getting married and all the other stuff. Because we're in love. Yes. <laughs> oh, one thing I never mentioned, you. I got to say this. This layout that we're using, Danny made. How cool is that? This layout that you see around us with the logos and all that stuff, Danny actually made it. So big shouts to her for her graphic work. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. my man French Mudkit made the intro and the thumbnail, so thank you for that. Um, I think I, I covered everything, so I think we're good to go. But we do have our second half of the question. I, it's kind of a two-part question, mostly. I'm moving Forster's so slow. Fault. I'm sorry. Oh, we are. We are going <laughs> to be moving. So I get so be a snail's pace. by this conversation, and then I'm not playing. That's okay. It We're moving at a snail's pace, guys, so don't explain. Like, we'll probably get to the first gym by episode 10, so don't worry <laughs> about it. Um, <laughs> but uh, plans for kids. So we have a puppy, Lily Pup, of course, named after the Pokemon. She's a miniature golden doodle. She just turned about a year old. We got her together, and... Uh, so what's the plans for kids? We haven't talked about this. We're getting no I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've talked about it. Um, so we would like to move first and settle into whatever house it is um, with two bed, two extra bedrooms for two children. Um, so we would like two kids. Um, and uh, so after we move, we'd like like a good year to settle into our house and uh, make sure everything's in order and we're comfortable with where we are and everything. And uh, that would be when we would start thinking about children. So that's going to be at least a year and a half away from our marriage, two years maybe. Yeah, I'd say that's about right. Um, so yes, yeah, so we'd like two kids. We would of course prefer a girl and a boy. Um, we've discussed that <laughs> if we get Two girls, we'd stick. If we got two boys, we'd, we'd want to try a to get a girl. So <laughs> so that's that's what we've discussed. But yes, we both want kids. Um, we've talked about it a lot. We're very excited for that day to one day come. It will not be soon, so... Yep. Hold your horses, guys. Hold we need on. a little bit of time here, so... But we will, we do plan to have an A baby. <laughs> one of these days. All right, so... I think you had an idea for your nickname for I your do. Mudkip. I am thinking Geico for my Trico, <laughs> but I'm really not good with nicknames, so this is actually probably one of the main reasons why I want to do a Let's Play with you. Oh, yeah, that's it? Your, your <laughs> not like we're getting married or anything. <laughs> your nicknames are the best. So uh, do you have any other ideas for Trico that you can think of? 
So it's a boy. It's a boy. It's a Trico. It turns into a big lizard Christmas tree type thing. Lizard Christmas tree type thing. I mean, it kind of does. Uh, I think Geico is okay. Geico is a really cute name. I think I'm Geico. I'm surprised. That I think Geico is cool. So I'm going to go with Geico. This this playthrough is not sponsored by Geico. <laughs> I just want to clarify, I don't actually use Geico for car insurance. It's funny. But if anyone from Geico is watching this, hit me up. We'll talk because I need car insurance soon. So, so um, this is actually going to be my <laughs> most not unique and creative name. But... Um, when Dan and I went, uh, when was this? When we went on vacation? When was it? Oh, it was when, um... We went on a weekend trip or something. Was it when oh, we went to PAX. Disney? Oh, PAX. Yeah, it was okay, PAX. Okay, so when we went to PAX East, um, my friend, my my maid of honor and best friend Sarah came and watched Lily for us. And so uh, we actually left her a gift because she had um, just gotten her first DS. And so we actually got her a version. We got her Alpha Sapphire. Um, and we gave her a stuffed Mudkip. Um, so she loves Mudkip now. Uh, she obviously chose Mudkip as her I thought you were going to call starter. it Guppy. Oh. Ooh. I like Guppy. You're right. Yeah, that's right. I would go with Guppy. All right. Sorry, Sarah. I know you're watching this. <laughs> we're going to go with your nickname. So she is actually... If you know her on Twitch or on Twitter, she is Guppy Girl is her name. Um, so, yes, this is named after Sarah. All right, so we have our starter Pokemon, Geico and Guppy, and they are going to be linked oh, together. Oh, how cute. They're both Gs. They really are linked. <gasps> Maybe we could try to make that a pattern. I like it. We can go alliteration oh. the entire Let's Play. Oh, so, they'll all be paired by the first letter of their name. All right, so Geico and Guppy are paired up, and yes. they are linked together. So By the first letter of their name. <laughs> and they're in love. <laughs> so if at any point in time one of those Pokemon happens to faint, then unfortunately the other one goes down to of a broken heart. So really sad to think about so let's hope that doesn't happen and again we're gonna be it's more of a casual playthrough because we're gonna have the experience share on we're gonna do all this stuff i don't think we have pokeballs yet so i don't think these encounters count yet just to clarify i'll double check but i did find a worm pool i don't know if i if i have uh, pokeballs so that'll kind of you can't really you don't really start until you have pokeballs so uh, i do not have pokeballs so it doesn't it doesn't count we're gonna skip this one um, but you can head out into the wilderness, babe, and we're gonna try to make it to the next route is this here. Is the direction of the wilderness? Yes, that oh, wait, is the we need to go get we need to go get Pokeballs. Yeah, so they're gonna give it to us. I'm pretty sure they give it to you when you talk to May. May! Oh, wait, is May here? I thought... Oh, no, you know what? You have to go all the way up to see May at the top, like in the oh, top Oh, but I have on. to go around that thing. Yeah, this you gotta way? go... No, no, right, to the right. There you go. To the right. Ugh! <laughs> that's that's what's called a wild encounter. <laughs> you don't have an option. You have to deal with those. Those are those are normal. Those happen all the time. Dun, 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 dun. You like the Pokemon music? Yeah, I don't know. we can't. We actually can't listen to it on our end because of this recording fancy YouTube stuff and all these rules. Yeah, all these rules say we can't listen to music. So unfortunately, you guys can hear it and enjoy it. We cannot. We cannot. But just uh, silence in the apartment. Now I gotta ask, so you're pretty new to Pokemon, obviously, but uh, you did play through Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so I, I have to ask, what was your favorite part of doing that, and uh, what are you excited about most on my this playthrough? My deep connection with my Trikaboo. Okay. We were just best friends. We went through the whole journey together, all the way through. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna be you're gonna be soul crushed here if a Pokemon ends up going down. Oh yeah, down. I hate I hate the f the fact that there's a chance that I, I would lose this little baby. Well, I will make sure that we do our best to not have that happen, and we'll keep our fingers crossed. Well, I'm trying to continue to do as many encounters as possible so I can level him up so he's the strongest little That's guy in the world. That's actually probably a better idea than what I'm doing because I'm facing the rival here and I have not leveled up at all, and I'm running the risk of getting beat Don't here. Don't you dare! Just keep going. Are you serious? I'm going to make it. I have a potion. I will be okay. Is this the rival guy right here? No, you just got to oh. keep going. That's that's like uh, Youngster Joe or whatever. Bro and then you Joe. just go north and you're good. You just got to keep going up. Just keep going north. There's the Poke Center. Oh, here's here's a guy. He's like, hey, I sell you stuff. <laughs> that's exactly yeah. what he says. Hey, I'll sell you stuff. Come, come get stuff from me. All right, I should be good as long as I don't get crit here. I got four HP left. As long as I hit him with a pound, oh my god, Dan, I should I'm be so good. worried. If you get rid of my Mudkip already, it's oh okay. My. I made ooh, it. Ooh. I survived. My man Geico coming through. My man Geico coming through. It's not even a big deal though. All right, so 
All you gotta do, I'm a little ahead of you, but that's okay. So you just gotta go north and you take on your rival, which is, I guess, me, and uh, you'll be good to go. So I have to go to the Pokemart thing now? Well, no, you could just go straight up if you want. Do I have any Pokeballs? No, not yet. You don't get Pokeballs until you go back to the professor after this. So we'll get Pokeballs soon though, don't worry. So how's my, did he lose any He might have lost, uh, he lost a little bit of health. It wouldn't hurt to heal him again. I'm gonna go heal him. All right. I ain't taking any risks. You better not take any risks. I'm not taking I any risks. I get really connected to my Pokemon and I will be very upset if due to you, I lose one. Okay, I will do my best to not lose any Pokemon for you, just because I know how much you like these Pokemon and how much you don't want to lose them. Deal? All right, so Danny's gonna heal over Pokemon. She's gonna take on her rival here, and that's probably right around where we're gonna wrap up our first episode. Most episodes will be between, I'd say 20 and 30 minutes long. Unfortunately, we're kind of in a very tough spot right now because we're just a feat, we're, as the day of this recording, we're five days away from our wedding, so we're quite, quite busy trying to do this Let's Play. So we're gonna do our best to try to get all the episodes done for while we're gone and continue a Monday, Wednesday, Friday series, but uh, hopefully we'll have a little bit of leeway if needed because uh, who knows what'll happen. That's not him either. Yep, just go, this is right there. He's kind of staring into the, he's probably, probably Hey, just... Brendan, what's going on? That is his name, it is Brendan, isn't it? It is. What a, what a lame name that is. No offense to all the Brendans out there. Um, <laughs> What? <laughs> just take him on already. Just face him. <laughs> just beat him. There's a reason why I said that, guys, but don't worry about it. Um, all right, so we actually got 10 potions from that. That's a lot of potions they give you. Wow. Uh, but you don't get Pokeballs yet, so that's kind of a bummer. All right, let's see if you can beat him. You ready? Are you sure? You sure are going to give this a go here? Pokemon Trainer Brendan. Mudkip versus Trico. So this is, this is like a warm-up facing a Trico right now. Good luck. How do you feel? You feel confident? You feel ready to rumble? I mean, my, my options are pretty limited to uh, water gun and tackle. Yeah, tackle's better. Oh. The reason why tackle's better, so the way the water gun does 40. Water just waters the grass, and he's a grass type, so he'll just grow stronger. That's, sure. Uh, <laughs> I'll tell you exactly why tackle's better. So, water gun does 40 damage. That's what water gun does. But since you're using water gun with a water type Pokemon, it does 50% more damage than it otherwise would do. So instead of 40, it does 60, Okay. right? But since Trico is a grass type, it resists the move, so that cuts that 60 in half. 30. So now it does 30. Now Tackle does 40, mm -hmm. and that's it. So Tackle 40 is more than 30, it's obviously. Very interesting. And that's how you get to the calculation of why that move is a better move, so. I'm learning Pokemon, I hope you're learning too. <laughs> I hope they are too. Looks like you beat him and you're up to and level seven. I grew to level seven. <gasps> yeah, you did. So did you. How did you when you didn't fight anybody? Uh, I faced a few few wild Pokemon. Oh, while well, I was, you know, making my way. Making my way downtown. I think you're doing great. So all you gotta do. Thanks, Dan. Once you get back to Little Root Town, we're good. That's that's where we uh, we wrap up. So you just gotta head south to Little Root Town. You could run from the wild Pokemon if you want. Um, that's not a good idea. I think it is for the purposes of right about now, since I move at a little bit brisker pace than you do. Whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? <laughs> um, well, <laughs> I want to say it's my fault because I am aware that your Pokemon skills are, um, what? to he be determined. How come he's everywhere I am? He, uh, I don't know, honey. Like, I just ran past him and he ended up... He, he needs you know to, how to run? calm down. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering if you know how to run. <laughs> you know how to run? I do know how to run, yes. Where am I supposed to go now? <laughs> uh, professor's lab. So, down. Oh. South. West. <laughs> Yell at my, you're ahead of me now. How about that? Now I'm the slow one. Look at you go. You're killing it. Well, I didn't know I had more time to fight other Pokemons. You do. I would have liked to. All right, well, there's the professor. Some people say I look like him. I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Confirmed A drive is Professor Birch. Oh, ouch. Man. Ouch. I'll, I, ouch. I got the Pokedex first. <laughs> you did. That gives you a huge advantage moving forward here. Did you know that? <laughs> 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 All right, well, I got the Pokedex too, so take that. <laughs> Who's gonna catch the most Pokemon? That's the real question. 
shouldn't we catch the same amount? Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's the goal. All right, so we got our Pokeballs. So now we can begin the adventure. So any wild Pokemon we encounter, the first on every route, we will be the able arse. to use those to uh, to play on our team. So I'm going to step outside here. And once you step outside, I, I keep, like, hoping that you're going to be in the same game as me, but you're not. Like, it's so weird. Like, I'll just be like, hey, I'm here, too. That would be a really cool I feature. I was going to see the professor, too. Let's go see him together. <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to be the first ever episode of our Love Lock with A-Drive and A-Jive, of course. I really sincerely hope you guys did enjoy this Let's Play in the first episode. If you did, of course, show your love on that like button down below and subscribe if you are new. Danny, why don't you take us out? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how. What, yes, how you do. You do. How do you usually end it? The same way you started it? No. All right, guys, that's it for us. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drive. And my name is Danny. I also go by A-Drive. And we're going to catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>